Hi there, and thanks for being with me for this next video in the chord series of videos. In this one, I'm going to talk about the advantages of chord knowledge and what's in it for you. And then you can decide whether or not you want to watch the rest. Um, pardon me for looking down. I've made a few notes. I want to go ahead and use those notes so I don't miss anything. Just to start off by reading uh, a summary of what you get from chord knowledge. You get an improved ability to read music of all sorts. That's useful to people, I think. Improved, ab improved ability to memorize music of all sorts. That's also useful. Improved understanding and appreciation of music of all sorts. Uh, ability to not be the victim of poor arrangements. I, I'm going to talk about that fairly extensively. And the introduction to the skills of composition and improvisation. That alone will probably be a separate video on how you use chords to do that. Anyways, um, reading, memorization, and understanding. Those are important to everybody that does any sort of music on any sort of keyboard or actually on any instrument. Um, now, if you have a skeleton, so to speak, a kind of a broad thing you can hang your details on, you're probably going to be better at learning those details, reading those details, memorizing those details, and understanding those details and appreciating how brilliant they are. A little note about the great composers. They had nothing other than what the rest of us have. They were just better at using it. I, I like to say to my personal students, hey, you give two cooks the same stuff. One makes a delicious dish and the other makes a rock. But it, there's nothing different. They don't, they, great composers, Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, Brahms, none of them had anything that the rest of us don't have. They were just better at using it. <laughs> they were geniuses, folks. And Thus, if you only want to follow directions and don't want to really understand how, it, how this, their music came to be, well, you can learn to do that, but if you want to fully understand it, memorize it, know what to expect, have sort of a, a skeleton of what is down there on the page, well, then you need to understand your chords and even more so chord progressions, the horizontal movement of chords. Why one chord goes with the next? There is a reason, and I'll be covering that later. Anyways, finally, if you are reading and studying the great composers, they're geniuses. But the ordinary schmuck, the guy ordinarily hired by a publishing company, may or may not be very good at using chords. He's also got the needs of keeping his job and the publisher who could very well not even be a musician. But a good business person may have ideas that are not coincidal with good art. So, if you don't know chords, there's nothing you can do but find good arrangements. And there may not be one available to you, and you may not have purchased one. If you know chords, you can do something about it. You can understand what is necessary. So, those are the advantages. They're pretty good advantages. As I like to say to people, if I hadn't known chords, I don't know what I would have done. Well, I would have spent a lot of time following, learning to follow directions. As it was, I composed four CDs of my own compositions. A lot of stuff. It's worthwhile. I think you'll have to make up your own head. Bye.